Broken Arrow police say the teenage brother and sister killed in yesterday's murder-suicide were students at the school district there. Police say the victims were 17 and 14, and it was their parents who found them. News on 6's Chin Doan is live with the latest. Chin. Craig and Lori, Broken Arrow police say what happened inside the home is shocking for many reasons. Investigators say the siblings lived there with their parents, and police had no history at that address. Why would a 17-year-old boy kill his 14-year-old sister, then kill himself? Broken Air police say their goal is to get answers and figure out how to possibly prevent another family from going through a similar tragedy. There's been no cause for us to intervene. This is a, a typical suburban home is what you're looking at. A family unit that seems to have a lot of outside support from other family members and members of their community and, and a complete surprise to everyone that was involved in this situation. Investigators were at this home near West Florence and South Aspen for more than 10 hours yesterday after parents found their son and daughter dead. Police say the boy died by suicide, but the girl had no apparent wounds and no weapons have been found. We're trying to come together as a community, as a police department, and support this family as they go forward and try to pick up the pieces of their life. Police worked with the school district to have extra counselors at the impacted schools this week. You know, there may even be some, some blame, like how did I not see something that was going on? Faith Crittenden with Family and Children's Services, which provides counseling staff for Broken Arrow schools, says while police investigate, adults should talk to kids on the level that's appropriate for them to understand. It's really just being available to listen and to understand their feelings and validate that it's confusing or scary or they're sad or how they're impacted. Police have not released the victims' names. Both police and mental health experts say this case is an example of the mental health crisis happening around our state. Live in Broken Arrow, Chindone, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.